Some of you watching this may be brand new to Redstone, and some of you may be seasoned veterans building the craziest of contraptions. Either way, it's always a good idea to brush up on the basics and to know the exact components that are going into the Redstone builds that we have come to know and love. Just as a side note, I am standing in my creative testing world where I build my creative builds, and more specifically, I build my redstone contraptions before those ever touch a survival world. I would suggest getting one of these because it will save you a ton of time in resource gathering, in troubleshooting, in building and tearing apart. It's just so much easier to do it in creative and then go and build it in survival. If you've been around redstone for any length of time, you have probably heard of a T flip-flop. That is the specific component that we will be focusing on today. And if you'd like to see more of these types of videos, be sure to let me know in the comment section and leave a like. So on to the T flip flop. One thing I've always wondered, what does the T stand for? It stands for toggle. It's a toggle flip flop. And that is exactly what this particular component does. Let's jump out of the testing world, get into the tutorial world, and I will show you how to build it and we'll explain what exactly a T flip flop does. As you can see, I've already built one of these as a sample and it is a very, very small blueprint. It is only one by four and the item list is one hopper, two droppers, two pieces of redstone, one repeater, a couple of solid building blocks and one button. So let's learn how to build this together right now. We're gonna go ahead and place a dropper right here facing upwards and then another dropper on top of that facing forwards. And then out of that, we're gonna have a hopper right here. This is basically the entire T flip flop right here. And now all we need is a power source to make it work. In order to get that done, we're gonna have a solid block here and here with a repeater set to one tick facing into the back of the forward facing dropper. And then we're gonna take a piece of redstone dust and place it down right there, followed by a button. You may be asking why in the item list we had two pieces of redstone when we only used one. Well, the other one is going to go into this top dropper right here. And it doesn't necessarily have to be a piece of redstone. It just has to be any single block in the game that can toggle. Let me show you what I mean. When we press this button, it will power this block, which will power this redstone dust, and then send a signal into this dropper. This dropper will then fire that redstone piece into this hopper. Immediately from there, the redstone will travel back into this bottom dropper and away we go. Then when we hit the button again, this signal will travel and power this dropper again, and by default, it will also power this bottom dropper, pushing the redstone piece back up into this dropper here. Let me demonstrate. So we'll push the button. You see the redstone dust fire. It's not in the hopper, but it is in the bottom dropper. So now we're gonna press the button one more time and the redstone dust should travel back up to the top. So let's check the bottom first. It is gone. And there we go. So how does this translate into a T flip-flop? Well, basically a T flip-flop is acting like a lever would in Minecraft, except for you're using a button. Sometimes you just don't wanna have a lever on the wall to toggle things on and off and you wanna use a button. Maybe the aesthetic is cleaner. Maybe you just like buttons better. This is a good option. Let's take a look at a simple example of how a T flip-flop works. And then we'll show you some more complex designs and how you might be able to incorporate it into your redstone contraptions. All we need to do is place a comparator facing out of this bottom dropper right here. And then we'll place a redstone lamp right here just to show when this signal is active versus inactive. So right now, the redstone dust is in the top dropper. We'll push the button. It will go into the bottom dropper. And now this comparator knows that there is an item in this dropper, which will send a signal out. And we are ready to go with whatever contraption we decide to incorporate this into. Then when we hit the button again, it will toggle that back off. Hence the name T flip flop. It flips, it flops, and it toggles things on and off. Another thing to note as well, while we are talking about incorporating this into designs, Redstone on Minecraft Bedrock Edition can be a little bit finicky sometimes. So in my testing, I have found that once in a while, the one item that's in here will miss the hopper and just fall to the ground. So to ensure that that doesn't happen, when you actually go to build this, make sure you place some blocks here, here, and here. We can break the corner blocks, they're not absolutely necessary, just as long as you've got these three blocks that are blocking this from firing out anywhere other than the hopper. If you wanna be extra safe, you could go as far as putting one on top as well. This T flip flop took about a minute to build. 
These, on the other hand, took a little bit more thought, planning, creativity. There are four different redstone contraptions in this build, and three of them use the T-flip-flop in the design. So we're gonna get to see how this might work in a real world scenario. Say we're wandering around like Indiana Jones, just doing a little bit of exploring, and we notice there are some suspicious buttons around. There's also a square here. You usually don't find those in mountainside, so we're kind of figuring this is a hidden entrance, and we finally find the button that allows us to enter this hidden cave. Immediately upon entering the cave, we notice another button, and being the good little explorers that we are, we just have to push it. So we press the button, and we notice that the lights in this room start to come to life, and we continue on our way. As we're looking around, we notice there's a dispenser up here throwing some water down a waterfall. That's suspicious. Let's press this button to see what happens. Ah, it's a trap! 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 Ah! That did not work out so well for our explorer. Let's keep looking around the room. So as we pick up the remains of these arrows that were our former life, we're taking a look around the room to see if we can find any other hidden treasures, and we stumble upon this button right here. When we press the button, away goes the waterfall, revealing a hidden shulker box that's got our hidden secret treasure on the inside. And now with treasure in hand, we are ready to leave this cave, and so we need to make sure nobody knows we were here, so we will re-enable the waterfall, hiding the treasure box, we will shut off the lights like a good citizen, so that nobody knows we were home, and then on the way out, we will shut the door, and be on our merry way with our treasure. I hope you guys enjoyed that fun little demonstration of some practical ways we can use a T-flip-flop in various redstone contraptions. I am always happy to take a look at your builds as well, so be sure to join up with my Discord server and send those on over to me. I'd love to see how you guys use the T-flip-flop yourselves. But that's gonna wrap it up for today. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment as always, and thank you so much for watching, and have a fantastic day.